game that they have to drive. You know, it's interesting when you look at sport, uh, professional, professional sports, and you look at the advertisers, what do they want to do? They want to associate their brand with the things that we extol as a virtue. And associating your brand with firefighters, it's one of the most admired and respected of all the public employees. What, what this is, is a snapshot of the kind of things that firefighters do every day. Each one of these tasks are a frequently performed, arduous or critical evolution that we can reproduce. And as this is the case here, this is the 427th event that we've done in our 25 year history. And concomitantly, we've got, uh, I think, 14 events like this in Europe, New Zealand, South America. So it's, it's, it's essentially making its way as a, as a worldwide sport. With your 50 pounds of, of gear, this is the only sport you bring your own breathing air with you. So that's your business suit. You start at the bottom of the tower and you take a high-rise pack, which is used to hook to the riser system, carry that up to the fifth story. 15 millimeter Kern Mail rope, you're gonna pull up essentially almost 50 pounds. You get seven pounds of rope, 42 pounds of hose, over the, over the railing descend, touching each of the steps on the way down, exit the tower, pick up the 9.6 pound shock mallet, and simulate chopping a hole in the roof by driving a 160 pound steel beam a distance of five feet. And then you race 140 feet through a slalom course to the opposite end of the course. You're gonna take a charge line, it's a one and three quarter inch attack line, and you're gonna advance that 75 feet through the saloon doors, pull the bale back, knock the target down, and then you go 20 feet and you pick up an anatomically correct 175 pound rescue Randy dummy and pull him backwards 106 feet.